Today I'm going to show you how to create a safety data sheet for a candle and where to find the label information that you require for your products. But before we start looking at the software, the problem I find again and again is that it's a back calculation that's required, which is what I address here. Now, typically with a candle, you've got 90% wax and you've got 5% then of a couple of other oils to give you a hundred percent. But say you've got vetiver oil and all your safety data sheet says it's got 60% of this cast number and 5% of this cast number. And you think, well, how does that work? What do I do? Well, you have to make an assumption that the rest is non-hazardous but if you've got, say, 60% or 40 to 60% in the safety data sheet, you've got to base your calculation on 59%, just less than the maximum. And if you've got less than 5%, you've got to base it, or 1 to 5, you've got to state it at 4.9% in your calculation. So you'll have a remainder of 36.1 and I'm suggesting to use water and don't display it purely because it's a non-hazardous ingredient but if all of this is then present at 5% in the formulation you do a back calculation instead of 59% you'll end up with 2.9% of this cast number and 0.25% of this cast number and you'll have 1.8% as a non-hazardous ingredient, as an approximation. But what we're going to do is create a safety data sheet for a, a melt or a candle that's 90% wax, using this soy wax, 5% of this oil and 5% of this oil. So if I open the program, I click on products, I click the green button, and I'm just going to call it a melt. It's a mixture, not a substance. Because it's a candle, it's a solid, and I save it. You can either double click on this line or more easily click this pencil. We're going to work our way from left to right. Some sections I'm going to miss out purely because all you're looking for is the labeling information in section 2.2. So I'm going to start adding ingredients. Click on this tab, click this icon click this icon and search and search by cast number because a cast number will more quickly get you through the third of a million chemicals that are stored in this software. Now at this part of the screen there are two boxes. I've got 90% of the wax. I'm not going to put anything in here because that this wax is not hazardous. And as you can see, there is an, a statement here, untick it, it won't appear in section three of the safety data sheet and save it. So that's 90% and this is the wax. I need to add the two fragrances. Again, it's cast numbers that I'm gonna use. That's one, and I'm going to put 5% there because that's going to be used in my formulation, and I'm going to put less than 8 there. So just 5% to go, add the other oil. Again. 5% and here I'll put mm, 3 to 9 just for some a different way of showing you how you can display the different ingredients so that one is 3 to 9 and this one is less than 8 this is the figure that really matters so I now have a hundred percent of ingredient but I don't have a classification for all of these. If I roll the mouse over them, it tells me they're not classified. What I'm going to do is click here, 
show you again click this black rosette typically I would click here and I would be presented with a significant number of recommendations but with this case there isn't anything so highlight the cast number copy it having clicked that green button click this book paste in that cast number click this magnifier this takes you through to Ecker's chemical labeling inventory and 149 notifiers tell you that it's not classified close this screen close this screen click here on classification including specific concentration and go down on the left please don't go on the right go down on the left and pick not classified you then need to save that change it'll ask you do you wish to it'll tell you it's done it and then publish it and you're publishing it just for yourself close this particular browser tab click this magnifier here and change where it says cloud here to my published and paste in that cast number Here's your classification. There are a couple of these because I've done this before. You'd normally just see one. So select it here. And that black rosette now becomes purple and says classified. Let's do the same with the oils. Nothing. Highlight the cast number. Click this green button here. Click this book paste in the cast number click the magnifier here to get through to the inventory now 89 notifiers say it's not classified but I've got a safety data sheet that says it's 315 317 and 318 it's skin irritant 2 skin sends one note not one a one b but one and I damage one and I'm going to choose because my supplier's safety data sheet says that this is the classification, not this as the classification. So if I close this screen, I scroll down here and I scroll down to H315. H317. And remember it was skin sends one, not one A, one B, it was skin sends one. And I damage one. This is the classification I've chosen because it matches my supplier's safety data sheet. Save it. Publish it. Close that browser tab. Click here. Again, paste in the CAS number. My published. And here's the classification of 315, 317, 318. Select it. Just one more to do. Try the gold star. <coughs> Nothing there. Highlight the cast number. Click the green button. Click the book on the right. Paste in the cast number. Click this magnifier on the right hand side to look up in the chemical labeling inventory. And this time we have 304, 315, 317 and 412. So 304, 315, 317, 412. Make a note of that, as I've just done. Close that, close that, click here. Scroll down on the left and pick H304, H315. H317, and remember, it skin sends 1, not 1A, 1B, and H412. Save it. Publish it, and you're publishing it just for your own benefit. Close that browser tab, click this magnifier, Make sure it's my published here. Paste in that cast number. 
and again here is your classification select to apologize I didn't do that now they're all purple I'm going to ignore properties for the moment and click on toxicity you click this refresh button here you then just need to click this icon here click OK click close click classification click this green refresh button here If you want to see the H codes, I'm going to do a GB one, you can see them here. But what you also need to consider is the precautionary statements that are going to appear on your label. Now, over here, there is a wizard that will help you with ECHA's guidance. If you click on it, and as it's for consumer use, click here. You make selections as to what you see is appropriate for your particular product. I don't think you'd want to avoid breathing dust fumes, etc., because they are going to be breathing it. Um, you could have read label before the use. Um, you could have if skin irritation occurs. But you have to make a choice. I mean, I don't think you need to take off contaminated clothing. But these are the precautionary statements that are driven by the H statements. But this is a candle. So not all of these apply. You choose which ones you wish. And I'm going to add that one. And you think, well, I've got both of those. I don't need all of them. I'll remove that one. So you can make choices all the time as to which one to to use and if you've changed your mind you can remove it so if you click on output click this button here I'm going to create a GB safety data sheet and I'm going to call it test now you can have any number of these if I want to create an EU one from the same I'll give it a name of EU test and if I wanted a further one I could put test 2. You can have 10 of these <coughs> for every single product you create. They'll all be date and time stamped and you can use any one of them. So if you click edit template will load and all the information you require is here the pictograms the signal word this one which has to be on your label and these statements here without the codes that go with them there is specific labeling advice that can be obtained but we charge for that service but if you want help from the program if you click here and click word there's a charge of two tokens. I'll show you how to prepay for tokens in a moment. But if you select, a Word document will open for you down here. And in that Word document, you'll find all the information you require to be able to produce your label. There's a separate video on how to create account details. but. This is the information that needs to go on your safety data sheet. You need to have the full name and address of whoever it is that's made it and a phone number. You need to have a contains field which shows what's inside your product. You need to have a pictogram and you need to have these statements. Now this is a charge of two tokens for doing this. If you want to see how tokens are created, you click here you click on shop, you click on purchase, and you buy them. Two tokens gives you the information for a label. That costs you just £22. If you need any further help 
with this program, then please email me at contact at hasmix.com. I may not be able to reply to you straight away. We have over 2,000 customers worldwide, including some of the largest chemical companies in the world. But I hope you find the program useful. Recommend it to your friends. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.